Dear colleagues, I am pleased that you have visited my poster. It means that it is interesting for you. Please let me give you some, uh, some comments to keep in mind while uh, reading and watching this poster. Firstly, uh, this research is uh, the follow-up of our previous research. It is published in Biochemistry Moscow Journal, and its popular synopsis is published in Science First Hand magazine. Uh, the both uh, outlets is provided here with QR codes and uh, clickable links. You can use any type of link for your convenience. This blog uh, briefly presents our previous research and the last parts of this, this poster present the current research that is the follow-up. Firstly, we outline uh, the results of our simple statistical and network analysis of uh, ecophysiological traits of lipoxygenase carrying bacteria. Uh, these traits uh, were simply extracted from PubMed abstracts and then analyzed with Microsoft Excel, Python version 3, uh, and Jeffy. Here you can see the full uh, version of uh, the network. Each node is a term, and each edge is uh, the case of occurrence of two terms in one bacterial species. This network is uh, colored according to ecophysiological group of each term. Red means human or vertebrate. Uh, magenta or violet means insects. Uh, green means plants. Uh, blue means uh, marine organisms. And yellow means public health treats, for example, emerging pathogens antimicrobial resistance. You can see that these groups are tightly interconnected. It reflects uh, the broad host range of a typical uh, lipoxygenase carrying bacterium and uh, cross kingdom host jumps, especially plant human host jumps. And you can see that uh, these plant human host jumps are connected to emerging status and antimicrobial resistance. Uh, it is a very concerning thing. Uh, our, you can see that our phylogenetic trees of bacterial epoxygenases uh, strongly correlate and correspond with this network. You can, uh, we, uh, for your convenience, we uh, have used uh, the same coloring and mapping scheme and you can see that uh, the same cluster and the, the, the same intersections, uh, the same uh, host range are observed here. It means uh, that uh, bacterial epoxygenases are possibly uh, involved in host microbe interactions. And this part of this uh, poster is dedicated uh, to our research, committed to uh, find out how bacterial epoxygenases can be associated with uh, plant human host jumps. This box plot um, depicts the total volume of uh, amino acid residues uh, that uh, form the bottom of a ligand binding site of, of uh, a typical lipoxygenase. Uh, the substrate binding site of lipoxygenase 
is a narrow channel uh, where the substrate uh, can uh, enter in tail first mode or in head first mode. All RLA epoxy genases are with tail first insertion and as stereospecificity, but their ratio specificity is uh, determined by uh, this total volume of uh, substrate binding pocket. And you can see that uh, uh, plant uh, pathogen or plant symbiontal epoxy genases and uh, human uh, associated bacterial epoxy genases uh, the same uh, bottom volume and uh, ratio specificity, and it uh, gives our the possi uh, the possibility to infer the possible mechanism. But it is just a hypothesis. For more information, please refer to our preprint. We have included uh, the QR code and the DOI link for your convenience. Thank you for visiting my poster.